Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 22 of Let's Play Secret of Mana Blind. Except it's actually not blind this time, unfortunately, because of a really stupid thing that happened. I actually have to re-record this episode. Um, the only part that's knocked me blind for right now is up to the end of the Ice Palace here. So I like, know what the boss of the place is and everything, I know how it all pans out. But, uh, the reason that I had to re-record this is because, um... Well, Thanatos, you see, he came, and for some reason he viciously assaulted me, demanding that I take the video, that, like, I delete the video file. And so, at, I had to be a hero to, like, stop him from destroying the world and whatnot, so I had to delete that file. It was my only, it was my only way. Either that, or it was gross incompetence, uh, I'll leave that decision to you. Leave it up to the power of your imagination here. But, um, yeah, so unfortunately this this kind of compromises the whole blind aspect a little bit, but it's not too bad, I know. And at least now that I, now I get to seem somewhat, in, uh, somewhat intelligible at this game, I guess, somewhat competent. So there you go. Fairy Walnut, that's actually useful. Mm. Yeah, so that's why my levels and my, like, items and all that stuff might not be consistent with the last video, so sorry about that. I tried to keep it as consistent as possible, but obviously that's easier said than done with this sort of game. With any RPG in particular. Mm, I actually kind of, like, it's been a long time since i played this, because, like, uh, what? Because my dad is down visiting, I only get to see him, like, six weeks every year, so I've been spending time with him and stuff, so, but it's been a while since I recorded this, so I might not remember everything to a T about how this place goes. These guys suck. Oh, someone told me what Lucid Barrier did in the comments of the last video, but I can't even remember now. Oh, uh, shows how unprepared I am for this. Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Dude, oh my god, they are doing so much heavy damage. Okay, can I... I can't use Sydney's magic right now, I can't, because she's being attacked. Alright, oh my god, they're, they're just gang raping her. What the hell? Dude! Okay, let her be so that she can heal us. There we go. Yeah, and something that I meant to make a note about, or I guess I should have made a note about the first time I did this, which I'm kind of happy, is kind of one of the reasons why I actually am glad that I have to re-record this, sort of, is because I never made a note of how good the music is in this place. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I know maybe it's not as great as I think it is, but something about it just appeals to me, and... I had to resort to putting it in an annotation. That's just how bad I felt about not saying anything about it in the video. So, but yeah, there's that. I don't know. Something about it's just so atmospheric. Like, it makes you feel like you're just right there. This whole... It's just this epic place. Well, it's not even an epic, like, tune. It's just like... God, this book is being a pain in the ass. Pain in the binding. There we go. I don't think I even have to kill those books. Yeah, oh crap, oh my god, I forgot about this. No! Oh. Mm. Oh god, the original video I had to speed this part up too, because this took forever fighting these three guys. But, uh, whatever. I might have to speed it up again here too, so we will see about that. I should probably use some fire magic here or something. I'm not sure fire bouquet, why not, on the taunt pole. Because if I remember right, this was one of the bosses that... What? Oh, well that worked, I guess. It like took him to a second phase. But this is one of the bosses that we faced when uh, going up against... We're going to get Undyne's powers, so... I assume that they're weak to fire because they guard like the whole ice magic thing. Dude, he just ate me like Frogger. Stop that. Alright, let's try this now. Hey, like some fireball for breakfast, even though it's like 10.30 at night right now. 1048 to be precise. I guess I could just keep spamming this if I wanted to. Dude, he did it again! Oh my god, how is it that I'm always in that exact stupid, like, line where he can actually grab me that way? Alright, I can probably just melee him from here. I'm not sure how much HP these guys actually have. I could check with Analyzer, as always, but... Ooh, I don't know if you could hear that. There was a thunderclap outside just now. I'm kind of, I'm kind of taking a risk here by recording this in the middle of a thunderstorm, because, as you might know, 
thunder and lightning like causes power outages, in case you weren't aware of basic meteorolo meteorological phenomena. Holy crap. Yeah, these guys are not... They're they're pretty easy to, like, fight. They don't do... Too, what, dude? He, did, <laughs> he didn't even grab me. Your tongue went to the left side of me. Dude, oh my god. That's three times... Oh, he ate edge that time, at least. Instead of just eating me three times over and over again. Over and over and over again. Dude, okay. You gotta stop that. I gotta stop being... I guess I should hit... Shoot. <laughs> I'm trying to get a sentence out here. Will you stop eating me? Should like hit him from diagonal like this, from the diagonal side, so he can't. Unless he can shoot that tongue in eight directions. Like Contra or something. I guess one way of looking at this fight is that the sooner you get it over with, the sooner you can get back to that music. So that's a little bit of an emphasis as to get this done as quickly as possible, which I am not doing right now. Actually, does the Ice Palace music kick back in after this? Because I know there's like another boss right away. Spoilers! <laughs> Sorry. Man, now I'm spoiling people on this. I've never played it before. Because I know there are a few out there who are experiencing the game for the first time with me, and I find that kind of cool, actually. Man, this guy's just not gonna quit. Oh my goodness. By the way, you might notice me taking more frequent pauses every now and then. I don't know, it's just something that I've sort of a thing I'm trying to get used to because there's a, been a whole lot of talk, like I've just been hearing things randomly everywhere I go it seems, about how you shouldn't be afraid of dead air in LPs. Like you shouldn't just keep talking just to fill the void of silence. You should only talk if you actually have something like informative or important to say. So, that's what I'm trying to get used to. I don't know if that's a technique that actually works for me anyways, for my style, but... I mean, I guess LP is all experimentation anyways, so... Just experimenting to see what works, to see what gets you the most subscribers. No, no. <laughs> I shouldn't even joke about that. Because people will think I'm being serious and they'll start, like, uh, yelling at me and stuff. Alright, yeah, this part. With the whip. Uh, what's the whip called? Chain whip, that's scary. Like, somehow it just seems like, even though a chain would be really effective, well, not, it's, it's hard to qualify that, like, to, it would be super strong against someone, like, if you whip them with it, but it doesn't seem like the kind of material that you could make a whip out of easily, because it's just, like, all clankety and, like, loose and some, and I know the whips are, like, supposed to be, like, sort of loose and, like, because they're, like, vines, basically. But, somehow a chain just seems like totally, like there's some kind of stiffness associated with a whip. And I don't even know why I'm talking about this at all, because this is just stupid. I mean, it's just, it's just a word, and I, could, I should probably switch away from that whip now, actually. It's packed to my tiny little golden dagger thing here. It looks a lot bigger when you actually equip it. Ah, these guys, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just stay here as a snowman for a little while while I, uh, explode you guys. How about this? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is so powerful looking. And that didn't even kill them. What the... <laughs> Crap. Oh well. They're nice for the experience anyways, I guess. If they split off again, though... Yeah, okay, he split off again, so I'm just gonna say... Screw you for now, and I'm gonna take this warp wherever it takes me. Oh my god, uh, I don't want to deal with you guys, so... Because you can kick my ass in a hurry. Ooh, nice little, pat like, lavender room here. Be gone! Well, what? <laughs> no, I, I forgot about that. I have to make a choice. Quite can see the fruit, child. Time for your punishment. Come! Mm, oh my god, it's the Frost Gigas! Oh yeah. <laughs> God, I tell you, when I saw this guy, like, for real, when it was actually blind, I was just terrified out of my mind, because, like, you all saw how many times I got my ass kicked by the fire gigas. And ice is always, somehow, even though it doesn't seem like it should be this way, ice is always worse than fire in video games. 
Oh man, we're casting magics on each other at the exact same time. That's crazy. Alright, I guess I could probably analyze... Well, I can't analyze him right now, obviously. But I'll probably analyze this guy just to get some stats on him, I guess. Alright, man, he took damage as he appeared. Or was that, like, residual text box? I don't know. Alright, analyzer. Still level zero. That's terrible. Alright, let's see. What do you got? Okay, solid amount of HP, MP. And he fears Salamando, just as I expected. I mean, <laughs> if Pokemon's taught me anything. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, fire bouquet. Why not? Someone actually said that I could do... I think actually a few people told me that I could do damage a little bit. Actually, I might have made note of that in a previous video or the last video or something. Alright, Edge, you're going to have to deal some... Oh, no, you can't, because you need a Fairy Walnut. And I need to give it to you. Yeah, I've got a good amount of these left. I think I actually like ran out of these when I got to this boss in my first run, and it was kind of disastrous, but I pulled it out in the end. Yeah, kind of. That's what one thing that kind of sucks is that I actually had a pretty good run against the. Well, not a good run. It was a pretty terrible run to be honest. But it was like teeth grinding and like sort of like the mold, like the twin mold fight from my Majora's Mask thing. If anyone remembers that. Now, why is he casting Ice Saber on me? Is that just so, like, I guess we can't hurt him if we if we use Ice Sabers on him, which would make sense, I guess. Maybe we heal him if that happens. Oh my god, was that red lightning outside? Oh my, that's scary. I didn't even know that could happen. Well, I actually did, but I haven't seen it happen in, like, forever. It's even less common than blue lightning. Man. Alright, Sydney's below the 100 HP embark, just barely, but, uh, oh, well, shoot. I guess I'll just use an item on you, then. Got plenty of chocolate to spare, so, yeah. God, it is so refreshing. I tell you, to just to do this Ice Palace, even though, it, like, tch, like, this boss is kind of nasty and brutal and everything. Uh, it's just fun to do this place, because it's been so blazing hot here, which is good for the Calgary Stampede, which is happening right now, I guess, but it's just, it's just been so increasingly hot. Like, it's been, like, 29, 30, 31, 32, like, every day in a row. That's been the high temperature, and that's in Celsius for all you non-metric people, I guess. Um, oh, what am I doing? There we go. But yeah, it's, it's just been like so damn hot, and it's that, so it's actually nice to be having a thunderstorm right now. And as an added bonus, I get to do this ice palace, which totally makes me anticipate winter. I was actually leaving a comment about that on Donabelle's video, snow like snow point, snowhead temple, not too long ago. But that's neither here nor there. Why did I cast fireball on him? That's like the weakest one. <laughs> Whatever, I killed him. <laughs> oh, it's kind of ironic. God. You never get over that effect, how it's just sort of like a supernova outwards from the center, almost. Yeah. Yeah, we rock, no big deal. <laughs> one practice fight against that boss, one unintentional practice fight. Santa, yay, we saved Christmas. What? <laughs> am I seriously asking him who he is? Master Santa Claus, are you alright? Oh, Rudolph, sorry to have worried you. I'm fine now. I turned into a frost gig it's because kids just no longer believed in me. See, that's what happens when you oh when you tell your kids the truth too early. Honesty is not always the best policy. Yeah, see, Santa's not a bad guy. We all gotta believe in Santa. I still believe in Santa. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. Yeah, he had a bit of poor judgment there, I guess. Because we kind of need those seeds, we need to protect them from the Empire, so we can't have Santa just gallivanting around with the fire seed here. Yeah, thank you. Booyah! And that's one story arc resolved. Alright, uh, I'm up to like 14 minutes here. Which is actually not as long as most of my videos. I could, pro could probably keep going, but uh, it would be blind at this point. And I, and I kind of like to just keep like the non-blind portion as its own separate video, instead of like melding the two 
you know, it's like a clash of two worlds or something. So, uh, that's it for this. Next time, I assure you, it'll be blind, hopefully, from now until the end of the project. So, hope you didn't mind this, uh, little reprieve. But thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.